Nigeria has an estimated 28 million housing deficit as of 2023, indicating that the country needs at least 28 million housing units to provide adequately for the population. An estimated sum of 21 trillion naira is required to provide housing units to fill the deficit. But this means the real estate sector needs an investment of over 21 trillion naira to hold sufficient housing for the entire population. However, by the annual average rate of 7.47 trillion naira credits to the real estate sector, it will take an estimated three years to provide 28 million housing units for the population. This is on the premise that the population remains unchanged over this period. But that cannot be the ease as the population keeps increasing, creating more gaps in housing. On the show today, we will keep our eye on the housing deficit in the country and the need for affordable solutions. Welcome to Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Just before we get into the discussion proper, here is a roundup of major business headlines. Now, the Nigerian equities market closed negatively as the key market indicator declined by 204.17 basis points amid negative market breadth. The NGX All Share Index declined by 0.30% at to close at 68,082.11 basis point against the 0.07% loss recorded previously to close at 68,286.28 BPS at the end of the last trading session. In Naira terms, the NGX market cap records a 111.74 billion Naira loss. Yet today, the NGX ASI stands at 32.84%. Well, let's talk Forex now. The central bank says it is working with the commercial banks to clear the $10 billion foreign exchange backlog within the next two weeks. Now, this was made known by the acting governor of the CBN, Falasho Dun Shunubi, who broke the news at a forum in Lagos on Tuesday when he was confronted with questions on the lingering challenges in the foreign exchange market. Now, Shunubi said the backlogs would be cleared through different structures within the Forex market, Adding that banks which control 75% of the forex transactions will play a significant role in seeing that the backlog is cleared. Now, Nigeria's vehicle assembly industry, estimated to be worth around 302 billion naira, has tanked to a new low due to increasing production costs and weakened demand for locally assembled automobiles. According to the recently released Manufacturer CEO's Confidence Index, activities of motor vehicles and miscellaneous assembly deteriorated further below the benchmark from 48.6% to 46.7 points. The report said this was due to unpalliated subsidy removal, reduced sales and low demand for new vehicles because of the eroded disposable income of consumers. The plunge to 46.7 points takes the business condition of the subsector close to pandemic levels when it went as low as 45.25 points. And finally, in business roundup, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria Fan has commenced the relocation of international airlines to the new international terminal at the Morotala Mohammed Airport, Lagos. The relocation is coming barely a week after the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development Festus Kiyamo gave the directive to the management of FAN to ensure the relocation of foreign airlines from the old terminal to the new aerodrome, which was commissioned on the 22nd of March last year by former President Mohamed Buhari. A statement by Abdullah Yakubu Funtwa, the Director of Public Affairs and Consumer Protection of FAN on Thursday evening, said the agency had redirected the processing of passengers through the new international terminal effectively or effective immediately. That's Business Roundup. I will introduce my guest in a second. Don't go away. Stay with us.